Hey guys, Irius here. Welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, subscribe now and click the bell icon so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. You join me today for three races in this Daily Race B around Bathurst. We're probably in my favourite livery to date, the Jurassic Park livery. Now, normally I go for confectionery based liveries, but today, when I saw this one, I just could not resist. I mean, recently we've had M&M ones, we've had Twix ones, which are bars in the UK, and we also had a Ben & Jerry's one around Goodwood, but that video didn't make it to YouTube. But we're not going to go into why, that one can just remain in the deepest, darkest depths of my hard drive, and maybe if I'm that short of content, I'll show it to you one day, but to be quite honest, it was an absolute bloodbath. But going back to this race then, we're here in 12th after a mediocre qualifying time. It was a 114.2, so some more work required there. I'll be doing some more qualification in between races as we go through, but we're behind a Nutella Audi TT. So a shout out to that guy in the Nutella Audi TT. I mean, as we know, I am partial to a confectionery based livery and Nutella, even though disgustingly some people smarm it all over their bread or their toast, it is actually a confectionery based product. For me, just give me some Marmite on toast. That raises another question, do you love Marmite or do you hate it? I think it's pretty much 50-50, but let's have a masturbate in the comment section down below and let me know what do you think? But back to the race, as we come over Skyline here, I'm just going to get it completely wrong and slam the car straight into the wall. Now, someone, as you saw on the radar, hit me from behind. I mean, it wasn't his fault at all. It was all my fault because I smashed into the wall. But he hit me from behind. He hit the wall, which gave me a five second penalty, which is not good when you're only in a three lap race. So I'm going to pull off the racing line here and then I'm going to serve my penalty here and I'm going to go all the way down to dead last. And to be quite honest, there's not really any time to do anything about it. So that guys was pretty much the end of that. I did manage to make up one place as somebody else served their penalty there, but nothing else was really forthcoming so an underwhelming 15th place was brought home. So in between races I decided to go back to Quali to try and improve on my 214.2 that I did earlier on. Now I couldn't quite break the 14s there, so some more on the job training was required here as we enter race number 2. So my new Quali time here was good enough for 11th and we're back again behind the Nutella Audi. And we're going to fast forward through pretty much the entire first lap because not a great deal, to be quite honest with you, went on. So we're going to rejoin the action here on the back straight. The dust is being kicked up, up ahead by the Spaniard, Sir Davos, who has had an issue coming down the back straight here. So this, combined with a quitter, pushes us up to ninth place here on the first lap. Predictably, up ahead, cars are going everywhere. It's absolute chaos up ahead as we arrive and come out of the chase for the first time. We're going to get past a recovering TT there, so up to 8th now, and we're behind a gaggle of TTs up ahead. But we're going to stay on board here as we start lap number 2, as they are going too wide through Hell Corner. Now that normally doesn't work, and you're going to see the Nutella TT there get pushed a little bit wide, kicking up a bit of dirt there as my Elgato again skips. I've got no idea what's going on with that. I'm just going to have to record the gameplay until we get this sorted because we can't have this sort of stuff happening in the videos. This is a high quality operation I've got going on here and we can't accept anything that isn't top notch. So we've entered quarry here. The Dutchman up front is going to run a little bit wide and we're getting closed on all the time by Sir Davos. I mean, I thought he was dead, but apparently not. He's back to life and he's all over us here and is rather racy. I think he's trying to make up 
time from when he messed up on the first lap and found himself off the track but he's definitely sticking his nose in places where I really don't want it. So we're coming through McPhillamy Park here I bet you didn't know it was called that and down towards Skyline learning from when I had an issue in the first race I'm just trying to break in a straight line in this Mustang oh I was gonna say as Sir Davos there smashes it into the wall and gives me an SR down I'm not sure what I did there but never mind as I was saying if you get this wrong in the Mustang the pendulum starts swinging it's got a big old heavy engine up in front and it makes the rear really light when you're braking coming downhill so more dust is kicked up here as we come down the Conrod straight towards the chase we've got Sir Davos behind closing 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 we're going to come down and into the chase here a move is going to be made on the Nutella TT by the Dutchman and just keep your eye on the radar here we're coming down towards Murray's corner the Nutella is going to make a move on the Dutchman there and then oh Sir Davos is just going to lob it up the inside of us push us out the way with his Siemens covered Audi TT there and we are down to ninth here on the final lap now to be honest with you I'm not really best impressed with that so I'm going to tuck into the slipstream here of the Spaniard you can see he's the number two car so that might be why he's a little bit upset but keep your eye on him here he's going to go to the inside and he's going to do exactly the same move again you think he's going to pull out but no he doesn't he's just going to nick the rear end there of the Dutchman but then we're going to gain momentum we're going to push the Dutchman through and then follow through ourselves so we're up to eighth briefly but he does a good job here by diving back underneath us again so we're back down to night fair play to him at this point but then he loses any fair play points here as he's just all over this guy what are you doing man he's doing the same thing again just knocking him knocking him knocking him they both end up in the wall I hit him right up the arse get overtaken I'm down to 10th here and amazingly the guy who is in 7th the Dutchman has ended up with a penalty now I don't think he really deserved that but as I come through the S's here I'm rattled I slam into the wall again there and then not looking at my radar I then bump into the other Dutchman behind so apologies for that buddy I didn't realize I'd done that at the time I was trying to recover my spin but well not my spin but my slamming into the wall so in the replay I realized I did that so apologies I should have let you through sadly we're going to pass the other Dutchman who's serving a four second penalty for to be honest something he hasn't done but more disappointingly Sir Davos is back up to seventh when he really shouldn't have been we're going to come through the chase here for the final time in this one it looks like we're going to bring home ninth place which is a two place improvement from where we qualified but we've still got some work to do here and we're going to hit qualifying again after this to see if we can do better in the third and final race here at Bathurst. So back to quality we go before the one final race for this video and we managed to cross the line with a slight improvement here. We're down into the 113s with a 113.8. But take a look at this lobby. So I went to Kudos Prime for the first time in a long time and I found out that I was down to 90, I think, or was it 91 safety rating? So I was in this, a very strange lobby where there was a 25 second gap between pole and 11th. There was seven seconds between myself and third place. So if I don't come home with a second place in this one, I will be absolutely appalled with myself. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not going to go into the state of the penalty system. It's just been done to death now. I mean, they kind of do the porridge too hot, then they do the porridge too cold. And I'm just not sure if they're ever going to get it quite right. We're going to jump right to the final lap here because there was absolutely nothing to show you at all in this one. So I'm going to spare you 
and I'm going to spare me the torture of trying to make it entertaining. I'm going to come home in second here, four and a half seconds behind first and almost 16 ahead of third. I did however put in a good lap time for me of 113.5 which was pretty much the only real highlight of this otherwise pretty dull race. Hopefully though this clean race will sort out my SR for the FIAs, both of which I have done and going forward I'll be streaming each week exclusively for the members and the patrons of the channel. So if you want to see what happens in the FIAs each Wednesday in real time before I put them in videos, make sure you head over and become a channel member now. But for now guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.